If any of, it, if any of you guys followed uh, my Standing Stone two-day shoot back in May, you'll know that uh, I by chance won the uh, Ag Target. So I won the barrel of my choice by Bobby Hoyt. Uh, it was supposed to be, well, it was, it was a rifle barrel of my choice, but uh, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, what I wanted was a smooth bore, and I wanted a long barreled smooth bore. I had that in my mind before I even went to the shoot. If I was going to win this thing, I wanted, a, wanted to get a good, nice, thin walled, uh, long barreled Bobby Hoyt smooth bore barrel for uh, turkeys. Anyhow, I won, I won the shoot, and I got to thinking, you know what? I knew Bobby had fooled around with this design and uh, I thought I'd see if he could do it for me. Uh, I do wanna put this out there. I don't know um, all the particulars. All I do know is that Bobby had told me before it's not his design, it's uh, Keith Castile's design. Bobby just is doing it on his barrels here. Uh, I don't know that he's been doing it more than a couple years. I, there again, I don't know all these, all these facts, but um, I knew it was something I wanted. Uh, one of the negatives about the Colerain Turkey Barrel is that it's a uh, 62 neck down to a 58, I believe, but it's fixed. So if you're going to use a 62 caliber Jag, you're not getting that thing down there to clean the clean the barrel. You have to use a brush or maybe a, a 58 caliber cleaning Jag with several patches. So with this design, um, I had him build the choke version. This is a 44 and three quarter inch 20 gauge. And it has a one and quarter inch cylinder bore end to put on here that you can shoot round ball or shot. Uh, you, it's just a matter of unthreading it. Of course, this is what I'll build the gun around, this length of barrel. And when you thread the choke on, it extends, it'll extend past the stock some. But this is a 58 caliber end and it's choked down or it's two and three quarter inch length so right there you got your your choke on there it's good to go for turkeys now i can you take this off to load it you put it on to fire it you can also take it off then to clean it so it's uh it's a really cool design uh clearly it's not uh historically accurate but in today's game why you're having fun with flintlocks uh why not incorporate a little technology into it, right? So, just thought I'd share it with you. It's uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna build with it. Um, I was thinking Fowler uh, or Trade Gun, something of that design. Um, now I'm considering possibly a, a Beck or something and a smooth rifle because I'm gonna want a rear sight if it's gonna shoot tight. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna build with it, but I'm probably gonna go with an early Ketlin lock. That'll be my one of my future builds here. Hopefully, if uh, the money comes together, I'll be able to get it built before spring. But we'll see. Thanks for watching.